Hi, I'm Paul Jackson here at the Winston-Salem Annex. I take care of the ice. I also do a bit of skate sharpening. And this week we're gonna talk about that, about edges, how to get your skate sharp, why you need them sharp. But first, we're gonna get a word from our sponsor. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Welcome back. There's a couple things that are needed for skating. One is good ice, which I always provide. The second is skates. And today we're going to talk about how you get your skates sharp and why they need to be sharp um, on the ice and what benefit it's going to be to you. Okay, something that we look for in, in skating, we have two edges along the skate. We have one on the uh, inside and one on the outside edge. And what I'll do when someone brings a skate in, one of the players or some, a member of the public, I'll just check for edges to see if there's uh, any imperfections on it on either edge of this. And most people don't realize, but there are, there's a hollow in the middle between the, out, in the inside and the outside edge. And that's really what gives you your grip on the ice. Okay, something I want to mention, these are the spinners that we use. A lot of people think that they really want sharp skates, uh, and if you get a deeper hollow, it's going to be sharper than a, a lesser hollow. It's really not true. They're all sharp. It's just the depth of the hollow. One, this is a half inch. This is a three-quarter inch hollow. They're just deeper, but they're equally as sharp. But this is what we use to put a hollow in your skate. As I was saying, with the hollows in the skate, uh, some, pay some players like a deeper hollow some like a shallower hollow. Goalkeepers like usually a shallower hollow so they can slide a little bit better. Um, some heavy skaters like a deep hollow so they can really cut. Um, it just depends on the skater and their preference. And the other thing we take into consideration is the quality of the ice and the hardness of the ice uh, when we decide what we want to do for, um, for a hollow in the skate. And I'll show you a little bit about how we sharpen them in the machine we have. Okay, with our machine, um, we, we have a Blackstone three-head machine. What we do here, depending on this, the, what this, uh, the uh, skater wants, we can set the hollow using a tool. We call it a, a spinner. And we, we can dress this stone to the exact uh, dimension that they want for a hollow. Uh, once we get that done, we'll just clamp the skate in. And I'll proceed to sharpen the skate. We go in one direction to keep the grain the same all the way through. And we may have to take many passes. It just depends on how bad the skate is. Once that's finished, we'll dress it with some lubricant, take the skate out. We use a edge checker to get the other piece on here to make sure that the edges are straight, which in this case they're not. So we'd have to, we would straighten it out. Um, and then once that's done, we'll polish the edge and hand it back to the skater. It should be done. Okay, a lot of people wonder how often should you get your skate sharpened, which question comes up all the time. Something you can do if you start to feel as you're skating, your, your skate doesn't seem to grip very well, you might want to look at your edge, see if you, we call it blowing out an edge, you might have a piece of, you may have hit something on the edge of the skate that has just completely deteriorated your edge, they need sharpening then. Um, or it could be um, they've just been skated on so many times that you need to get them sharpened. But usually a player will feel or you'll feel when you're skating, it's just not cutting an edge like it used to. If that happens, they probably need to be resharpened. And that's what we're here for. And while we're on the subject of skates and blades, we wanna make sure that we keep our skates covered, keep them clean and dry once you're done skating, clean them with a, with a towel and put some type of protection over them. They'll last a long time that way. So, just in summary, uh, make sure your skates are sharp, make sure they're clean. Uh, you'll know now when to resharpen them. And depending on how you skate, you may want to change the hollow of that skate, as I mentioned earlier. Um, it might be, give you a better grip and it might make you a better skater. So that's it for uh, this week's edition of Kid Sticks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.